Authorities say that Kim Williams, the wife of a former Kaufman County Justice of the Peace, has confessed to the triple homicide. Research is being done by the psychology department's salivary labs of multiple universities, such as John Hopkins, Arizona State, and Texas State University. Hey, let me call you right back. Many rely on their cell phone from waking up in the morning to everyday use. So what would happen if you lost your phone? Oh, hey, hold on. I would probably cry. <laughs> cry. Cry. I would cry a lot. For most, losing their cell would be a difficult situation. Our phones can help us stay connected with the world, whether we are by ourselves. I'm on Twitter all the time, and I'm texting all the time, but I'm mostly on Twitter. If I didn't have my phone, I would probably die. Or around others. My mom gets mad at me when I'm around her because I have it in my hand at the table. Everywhere I go, it's in my hand. Cell phones aren't only used for personal reasons. Business communication can also be affected by cell phone usage. Whether it's orders, whether it's new contracts, uh, whether it's sales, uh, there's a lot of business that I conduct on the phone that way. It seems that cell phones have become an important part of our everyday lives. Losing your phone could cost you more than just money. If I lost my phone, I mean, it would mess up my day quite a bit, so I, would, I wouldn't have an alarm. I would kind of lose track of time. Talking is no longer the only reason for a phone. We have established a deeper connection with our phones. For Bobcat Update, I'm Haley Davis. Texas State's Career Services helps students prepare for their workforce. Many students use this resource for resume critiques and job shadowing opportunities. However, the annual sign up for winter job shadowing is no longer in service. So instead of it being strictly in the winter, it's now year round. Career Services is hoping that the change pushes students to take more of an initiative to job shadow. We've put the ball in students' court to be able to make those connections with the employers prior to us just assigning it. Now, instead of it being laid out for you, it's kind of more so of an independent thing. You know, you have to venture out and seek it your, on your own. Previously, Bobcats used to search through a binder in order to find a potential job shadowing opportunity. Now, students have to simply walk through these doors and let the front desk know that they're interested. We do guide you on how to ask an employer that you are interested in if you can come and like shadow them for a day. I think it's really helpful to know what you were doing while you're in college before you go to the real world. Some, though, have noticed a decline in the number of students reaching out through Texas State to gain work experience. It'll be interesting to see um, once all of these students graduate that we're familiar with the previous program, um, what our numbers would be like, say, in three years when the whole new freshman class has never had that other program. If interested in job shadowing, you can make an appointment with the Career Advisor Liaison for your college. More information can be found by searching Career Services at the Texas State homepage. For Bobcat Update, I'm Haley Davis. Students have been observing an annual Bike to School Day today. The Bike Cave at Texas State promotes it as a way of encouraging everyone to get out and ride. The folks at the Bike Cave say it's also a great time to be reminded, wear a helmet. You can find a lot of bikes on the quad and in parking racks across campus. There will also be a National Bike to School Day on May 8th, but that observance comes just before graduation ceremonies at Texas State. 